Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines where we're over visiting Lovely May. This is Lovely May and Dwayne's place here. Uh, that's their uh, front wall. And I'm going to go back and, and do a progress video on the house, but I wanted to show you guys this uh, picture they've got here. So this is the this is going to be the completed house. And this is uh, Archie Val Morris is the architect on this. He's the son of the person we were getting uh, our milkfish fingerlings from. And so he's, a, he's an architect, so uh, he's uh, in charge of this build. As I understand it, this is going to be a two-bedroom house. And uh, it looks like just a flat, two-tiered roof. And I have no idea about the square footage or anything like that. I doubt if May does either. But so May has said they're going to move in tomorrow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and so right now they're doing what? Right now they're working on installing the sea purlins. They're doing the purlins for the roof? Yeah. Metal roof? Yes. Which color? Color of the paint. Oh it's not it's not gonna be it's not gonna have a color before? I mean the roof? Yeah. Um, color of? Blue? Blue. Blue. Why, you want pink? Yeah. <laughs> I like pink. What, what, color, what color did Dwayne want? Pink. He want, Dwayne wanted pink? No, nah, Dwayne. I don't know there, buddy. So this is quite the project. So is there a... Ha, is, is there a completion, a tentative completion date? Four months. Four months from now? But they're actually expecting like less than of that. Less than? <laughs> so how long have they been, how long have they been building on it already? Um, one and almost two weeks. Um, almost two weeks? One month and... Oh, one month and two weeks. Yeah. Almost. So the total project time was estimated at like six months? Four. But I thought you said it was four months from now. No. No. To start, I mean, they're, yeah, they, they expected to finish that in four months. Okay, so they got like two, two and a half months left to go. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> that, was, that was the original question I asked me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're forgiven. Don't let it happen again. This is quite the layout here. You have to do a little ducking and dodging. I smell glue. So, I would imagine this is going to be CR or closet? May, CR or closet? Yeah. It's the CR. It's the CR? Yes. And so this is the... This is the small room here, so this is Dwayne's room. <laughs> Who is just kidding about that? <laughs> uh, so this is the second bedroom? Yes. It's and the... Windows. Big windows. <laughs> and this is going to be the master bedroom here. Mine. <laughs> yeah, this. this uh, yeah, lovely May's bedroom. And master bedroom CR. CR yeah. Good lord. What? <laughs> yeah, they're this CR is bigger than the than the second bedroom, May. I got a bathtub in that shower that is um, bigger. 
Good Lord. This is like the size of a motel room. <laughs> yeah. But you're gonna have a you're gonna have a big tub in it? Yeah. Like a standalone. Like a standalone tub and shower? Mm -hmm. So where's your closet gonna be? I'm not sure where. <coughs> which which like, half of the bedroom is gonna be, be the like closet? The bed. So we don't have it. I would you know, I would have thought that you would have had it all planned out, Mary. Exactly where everything is gonna go. No, actually they are gonna uh, suggested that the bed will be this since it's like the sun rises there. This is a this is almost all windows. <laughs> yes. This is actually like window. Corner window. That one. Wow. Very fancy. Is that gonna be so are these are these uh, are these gonna be we call them I don't know we used to call them in the states mood windows mm -hmm. are they gonna be flush or is there gonna be like a little balcony we don't actually um the architect suggested about the first window but we decided not most likely it's like slide and the regular ones and the fixed one right the corners but I what I mean is is that so like just to imagine this opposite like this is the outside like we were standing outside just opposite like this like if this was if this was the outside wall uh, by a mood window i mean there's a ledge that comes out like this far and then the glass goes up like that so there would be there would be a ledge out here understand well, I'm just curious. Did you, did you even know there was such a thing? What? Did you even know that that there was something like that? Let me let me tell you, man. Yeah, run run this by Dwayne. I'm telling you. So if there was a ledge right here, like going out like two feet, you could and then the window, right? You could put like a little uh, like a cushion there. And that would be just right for you to curl up in, read a book, and you could be right next to the window and look outside. Or you could just put plants and things in it. Oh yeah, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but it's like this. But you're just gonna make them straight. Yeah. Yeah. Just a thought. I do like the high ceilings though. So this is gonna be the ceilings are gonna be. 10 feet? Almost, uh, that's my guess. It's 3 meters. Down 3 down meters? Down. Okay, well that's that's almost 10 feet. Very nice. There's the usual here in the Philippines, it's like 2.7 to 5. 2.7 and yours are going to be 3? Yeah. Well, it's better, because it's, it's easier. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll stay cooler down lower where you are at without having to run the air. Now I know Dwayne is going to have to have this like a like a meat locker, right? A meat locker is a very cold place where you store meat. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Dwayne, uh, Lovely May's husband, Dwayne, works in Antarctica. And even in the buildings where he works and wanders around, his working environment is about 45 degrees Fahrenheit, which is, I don't know, what is that, uh, 10 degrees Celsius maybe? And that's his working environment. So, and whenever he goes outside, well, it could be 40, 50, 60 below Celsius, not centigrade. Uh, 80 to 100 below with the wind chill uh, Fahrenheit. So, Dwayne, poor guy, when he comes to the Philippines, the first, the first couple weeks, he feels like he's uh, surfing on the sun because <clears throat> it's just so hot for him here. So that was the reference I was making about uh, Dwayne running the aircon overtime. So, you, are you going to have a 10 ton aircon in here? Uh, we're actually thinking about the, not the stand alone, but something like, uh, I'm not sure. Like central aircon? Central? Yeah, that's the best way to do it. And maybe, maybe just in your bedroom. <laughs> maybe just in your bedroom, like a, a separate unit. 
if you wanted it like extra cool or, or something. Okay. Well, two more months, it'll be done before you know it. Okay. And so it's going to be rendered walls. It reacts rendered. Well, it's coming right along. This is the first time I've seen it. And this is a, so where's the kitchen going to be, May? This is the kitchen, dining room, living room, all in one. Yeah, kitchen, dining, and this is the living room. The living area. So kitchen where you are, dining room here, and the living room here. Now, are there, are there going to be any walls in here? No. No? no. It's all open. Yeah, that's kind of the... Have you been to Sandy's house? No. That's kind of the, that's kind of the floor plan that she has. It's all... It's all open. The only thing... The only thing that Sandy has is like a... is like a bar that separates the kitchen and the dining room. I mean, like... You know, like a... Huh? I'm not sure it's a bar. A bar is like, you know, it's just a... Like it's a counter. Yeah, it's a, it's a counter with a couple chairs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're gonna put that here. Okay, all right. A breakfast, a breakfast bar, because it kind of breaks up the space a little bit, but it's it's very nice. So I'm liking it, and this is gonna be your view back here. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get your well done? What? Your well? Did you ever get it complete? completely done but the ones that are using right now is actually the water from the well okay so we can't finish it yet since they're using the so how much water do you actually have in the well right now i'm just I'm curious not sure. you're not sure you haven't jumped in to see if it's over your head no? <laughs> did they just hit stone and they, they couldn't go any further mm -hmm. you need some dynamite <laughs> boom now you got a big hole They do have kind of a nice view here, and you can. So, are are you going to put any kind of a balcony on the on the roof? Because if those trees were not there, you could see the ocean, right? Yeah. So I was thinking, you know, maybe a, a balcony up on the top where you and Dwayne could come out and have your morning coffee and hold hands and and be all in love, and you could look at the ocean. Maybe in the next time. Because the sun would the time. sun would be coming up right back in there. Yeah. And you can look at the ocean. Mm -hmm. And there's Dwayne right there, and you got coffee and everything is just wonderful. Maybe sweet bread and donuts, danishes and donuts. In the future. In the future. So when's he coming back? Uh, October. October. Wow. So that's like six months, five He's months. Getting through the work, he had to get through like a month of quarantine from U.S. to New Zealand, New Zealand to. So let me guess. He had to do two weeks quarantine in New Zealand, and did he have to do quarantine when he got to Antarctica? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, I guess they would have to be extra cautious because it's not like you can just hop in your car and go to the hospital when you get to where Dwayne is. I mean, they're like stuck there. I mean, they have to call in a special plane mm -hmm. to evacuate someone out. And during winter season, it's, it's not possible for any planes to... Leave. Right, and there's three or four months out of the year, as I understand it, where no even a life and death situation, you're, you're screwed. So I can see why they'd be extra cautious. They wouldn't want anyone to have uh, COVID. Yeah, almost 10 months. And is he gonna come back here this time? I didn't even get to see him last time he came. Because of the problem coming here in Bohol, it's, it need, I mean. At that time, asked. it was a two week quarantine. Yeah. So he, and he only had a month, right? So he didn't want to spend half his time in quarantine when he could be hanging out with you, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, totally understandable. Yeah. But my feelings were really hurt that I didn't get to I didn't get to give him a hug and, and spend a couple days teasing him. The 
So hopefully next time he'll be able to come here. Right. If pandemic. Well, yeah, and that's you know who knows. That's Future that's the thing. Right. That's what you said. Who knows? Who knows if he's even going to be able to come here five months from now? What they, what is in place then? Well, good on you guys. It's going to be a beautiful home. Is this is this like your dream home? Yeah. Curtains. Are you just thinking about all the stuff you're going to do, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Curtains. Things on the wall. Drawers. Drawers. Well, this has been a long time, a long time coming, and I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. As often happens, things aren't as easy in the Philippines as you think or would hope. Uh, I know the well was a giant problem. The fence was uh, a hassle. <laughs> that's the that's the sweetest way that I can put it. I think May, even lovely May would have some words that I couldn't put on video if we started <laughs> discussing the wall. Yeah. So things are just, you know, uh, tough here sometimes. So it's actually a kind of relief that we got, we decided to have an architect, especially that Wayne is not here. Yeah. So uh, all you have to do is just basically stand around and, and yeah, wait for and him to do stuff. The plan is, uh, yeah. Because Mabe was having, you were having to run the whole crew, order the materials, the permits, all that other. Yeah. Way, way too much going on. Well, they're actually welding those in place. Good on them. <coughs> well, thank you, May. Where's the Where's the hot tub going to be? There. Oh, is it, is it going to be that big? I thought you'd have one outside, but nah. Uh, it's the Philippines. There's too many mosquitoes. Silly me. I was thinking of wintertime in Northern California. Alrighty, thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.